हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल्फ अमी मेहता एंड इन ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम लेट एस डिस्कस वॉट आर द सिक्योरिटी एंड प्रोटेक्शन सो इन दिस टॉपिक फर्स्ट वी डिस्कस वॉट आर द सिक्योरिटी पॉलिसीज सो लेट एस स्टार्ट सो दिस डिजाइन प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ सिक्योरिटी सो लेट एस फर्स्ट डिस्कस वॉट आर द डिजाइन प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ सिक्योरिटी सो प्रिंसिपल ऑफ लिस्ट प्रिविलेजेस सो द फर्स्ट वन इज principles of list privileges so this principle states how the privileges are to be granted to a subject privileges means that access we are assigned to someone for example we are uh, giving some type of uh, access or some type of privileges to particular file but some type of access we are not providing so a subject should be given only those privileges that it requires for completing a task for example for completing particular task a we have to assign printing privileges to particular that object so this is uh, stated here that a subject should be given only those privileges that it requires for completing a task for example if a subject requires append rights to an object append means add something into current file so if a subject requires append rights to an object then it must be given only the append rights and not the right rights for example this is a file b and we are given only append rights but we cannot write in this particular file so this is what that some time of privileges is assigned to particular object or subject to fulfilling particular task okay the next principle is the principle of fail safe defaults this principle states that unless the subject is given explicit access to the object it should be denied access to that object so every time for example you want to write in that file then every time explicitly it have been asking that this particular access is assigned to that particular object or not this means that by default access to that object is none so all the access rights should be given explicitly granted so like uh, sometimes uh, have you ever noticed that particular pop up box is displayed that you want to give that particular access to this file yes or no so this is the explicit uh, granted technique that you are explicitly granted that privileges okay now the next one is principle of economy of mechanisms this principle states that security mechanism should be as simple as possible if design is simple there are fewer chances for errors the checking and testing procedure becomes simpler <coughs> the next one is principle of complete meditation meditation this principle state that all the access to object be checked in order to ensure that they are allowed for example whenever a subject attempts to read an object the os meditate the action first it determines if the subject is allowed to access the object if so it provides resources for reading the object if the subject reattempts the read operation then it checks if the subject is still allowed to read the object and then allow for the reading so what happened for example this is the file a and then whenever particular subject attempt to read an object what is the operating system do operating system check meditate the action whether this read operation is allowed or not so if the subject is allowed to access the object it provides resource for reading the object again after some time it reattempt or whenever they reattempt to read operation or write operation operating system first determine that if the subject is allowed to access or the not so this is the principle of complete meditation okay now the sec- the next one is principle of open design this principle suggests that complexity doesn't add security this principle state that the security of mechanism should not depend on the secrecy of its design or implementation the next one is 
प्रिंसिपल ऑफ सेपरेशन ऑफ प्रिविलेज दिस प्रिंसिपल स्टेट्स दैट द एक्सेस ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट शुड नॉट डिपेंड ओनली ऑन फुलफिलिंग अ सिंगल कंडीशन देर शुड बी मल्टीपल कंडीशन रिक्वायर्ड टू ग्रांड प्रिविलेज एंड टू अर मोर सिस्टम कंपोनेंट्स वर्क टूगेदर टू एन फोर सिक्योरिटी सो देर इज नॉट अ सिंगल डिपेंडेंसी फॉर फुलफिलिंग अ सिंगल कंडीशन ओके बट देर आर मोर देन मल्टीपल कंडीशन रिक्वायर्ड to grant particular privileges so this is the principle of separation of privileges the next one is principle of least common mechanism so this principle states that the amount of mechanism common to and depending on multiple user should be kept to the minimum possible so the amount of mechanism must be common and depending on multiple user should be kept to the minimum possible the next one is principle of user acceptability so this principle states that the mechanism used for protection should be acceptable to the user and should be easy to use otherwise what happen that user may feel a burden to follow the protection mechanism so it should be user acceptability that it should be used easy that user can easily follow that so these are the principal uh, mechanism or principles that are used for follow the uh, security of partic uh, particular system so there are a system or computer and there are various objects operating system then files then there and various user then there is a requirement of security and we can say that the protection of that particular data or file or object so the data or object that may be a particular device like printer scanner over particular file so for that there are the uh, design principles and these are the design principle of the security okay so this is all about what are the design principle of security thank you